Welcome to Talking Tuesday. I am your host, Fancy Quant, and today we are going to talk about paralysis. So no, not physical paralysis or the inability to move a body part here, but kind of a mental paralysis I have been stuck in for probably... I don't know, probably the end of 2021, maybe even a little bit before then. But I've been stuck in this state where I feel like I can't make content anymore. And I don't know why. I guess I know parts of why. Um, But it's coming down to the fact that, like, I know I have all this content to make. And part of it is, like, being overwhelmed with what needs to be made. uh, And then what I have the time and the resources to actually make here. So, oh, man. Um, A lot of the things I've been making, a lot of times it's, like, me rushing into making the content just in time and often I've had like some really good like runs of ideas where they've actually worked out pretty well uh you get pretty good views or I cover pretty good topics and I feel like I have a good quality run of content and then there are times when it's really you know when the week starts off on Monday and you go to work uh Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and then Saturday hits and I've got family time in the middle of this and then I'm trying to figure out what am I going to do for a video on Sunday? (laughs) And I'm mad dashing trying to figure out what to do for that. And so part of it is like, I just have to make video and content to keep on it because I skipped, I think one here uh, at the end of 2022 and magically my revenue on YouTube, which is not very high to start with, uh, just tanked probably about by 25 to 50%, uh, just because YouTube essentially penalizes you for not making content, which is really frustrating. Um, so in general, I just make content to make content when I have time to make content. Um, but that being said, part of the paralysis too is coming from other sides of this where I see there's a big need for a ton of topics and probably too many topics for me ever to cover years worth of content, which people are probably saying, yay, like this is a great uh, thing to hear because you could make all this content. Uh, the problem though is I'm kind of stuck in the fact of I don't know how to put a lot of the content Uh, together in an organized, meaningful fashion here. So a lot of times I will make a video, like one of my favorite videos I've made, uh, it was on stationarity in the Mandelbrot set, which for me is just like a really fascinating topic and it should be fairly groundbreaking for a lot of new people. And yet that's not the type of content that people really want. Uh, What they really want is me to make a PowerPoint deck that says, let me show you how to fit an AR1 model to a stock price and then like robotically go through the nonsense. And then people go, wow, that was so interesting and so useful. And then one of the feedbacks I continually keep getting, which I find somewhat odd, is they say, Dimitri, I love the presentation on X, Y, and Z, uh, even though I didn't understand about half what you said. And so now I'm scratching my head a bit, and this is part of the paralysis, is how do I make the content more understandable, easier to digest? I mean, I have to figure out how to do that better. And part of this, I think, is I need to put a lot of the content together in a nice, easy framework and design here. So one of the things I critique textbooks I want to do, textbook reviews, uh, is the ordering of the ideas, right? Uh, A textbook could give you a bunch of random ideas that are all really good, solid, you know, pieces of information. But if they're not in a fashion that builds upon each other, it makes absolutely no sense. And mathematics specifically, um, topics and quantitative finance specifically all of, also follow kind of this pattern here where they build on top of each other. So, I mean, if you think about math from a very elementary level here, right, you have to learn like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So basic arithmetic to start. Um, and then it builds up onto other topics, for example, like long division, and you can do algebra, and then you work your way into, I don't know, perhaps some calculus, some simple basic calculus, and then you go into, I don't know, a bunch of other variety of fields that all kind of split off that. But as you think of ideas like, for example, addition and subtraction, uh, multiplication and division really just build on top of addition and subtraction, right? Because multiplication's like, you know, adding, you just add a bunch more times. Um, And that's how a lot of these ideas that I need to be building out or I want to be building out, uh, they need to be layered on top of each other. But one of my concerns as well with the channel is how do I, one, make these, I don't know, courses or mini courses all structured together um, and also not bore people. So 
I would love to do a whole thing on economics because unfortunately, probably 99% of all economics that's being taught uh, is so skewed and biased. It's really not a science anymore, which is why the field as a whole has lost almost all respect for most people because it's just not a science. It's a nice, fun, frilly thing. And people throw political ideas into every corner of economics and then it fits some narrative that they've created and then magically we call this economics. So I'd love to be able to teach just basic economics, like solid economic principles and building them together. Um, I myself, for example, was really lucky in the sense that when I took economics, uh, I had a professor who had a really different perspective than most professors, which was big government's bad, but also at the same time, there is a need for government. And he wrote his own textbook and put it all together. And it was these just notes that he created and written down and they were absolutely excellent. And then I teamed those up with reading, you know, like the books like The Wealth of Nations, for example, um, and putting a lot of these ideas together, trying to see these as a holistic picture and building them one step at a time here. And that's how I would love to do a course. But at the same time, the problem I'm having with that is I also don't want to end up pumping out, let's say, three months worth of uh, economics videos. And then subscribers are like, I didn't come here to watch economics. I came here just to see like, you know, Dimitri's general quantitative finance videos, just talk about careers and technical topics and a whole slew of topics and ideas here. So this is where my paralysis is really coming in at. Um, as you guys all know, I try to do a Udemy course, which I have never published. Uh, I have, I think like a handful of videos shot for it. But again, it was trying to get together uh, academic theory then trying to generate out code to really show these things and coding along with you, and then having actual hands-on examples uh, on real financial things so you could actually see like this stupid idea, this little like nuanced theory piece, which most people are going to wave their hands and say is, you know, stats 101, uh, is actually being baked into very advanced levels of statistics and more specifically into quantitative finance. Um, but my paralysis in this is sudden as well because I just... I've been wrestling with how to get it all set up, how to get it all lined out, um, how much to teach. And my brain has been fried in the sense that I have this really good idea and this master plan. And then as I start realizing it's going to take a ton of time to do it. So I start scaling back and scaling back and scaling back until the point where it's like I have a few videos that I shot probably six months ago, maybe a year ago. Uh, and they've just never turned into content of any sorts. And so I sit on that kind of middle piece too of if I made an entire specific course on, you know, economics or on uh, like sampling theory, for example, then stats, I would have to put it probably on a Udemy course and charge, you know, 10 bucks or whatever it is for it, which would be awesome because it'd be another stream of income for me and be worth my time. Uh, but at the same time, I would like to make things you know, it's easier for me to make like a video and then just release a video uh, versus trying to stack up and spend a bunch of extra time doing this here. So my brain, my life in general has become somewhat overly busy in the last few years here, especially as I've taken on new jobs here as part of this season is talked about as well, uh, trying to build out quantitative finance teams and risk management teams, um, trying to put the content together, uh, trying to do the videos, trying to organize everything in one process has just been a complete nightmare. And unfortunately it has resulted in more or less like just a pure paralysis of me uh, where I haven't been able to do a lot of really good solid content that I've been wanting to create. And of course I know you can't see because you're probably on a podcast uh, and I won't tilt the camera for the YouTube, but I have a whiteboard on the side and it has a bunch of ideas of all these things that I've been wanting to do. And unfortunately it is just chocked full uh, where there are multiple things like scribbled in a single line. And I just haven't got around to doing probably any of them because a lot of these things just take more time to do. Like I would love to make things much clearer, much easier, uh, provide nice, easy coding to go with it with beautiful charts. Uh, unfortunately, I just been in this state of over busyness here. And so part of this is scaling back, uh, doing less in general, uh, which has impacted the channel, if you haven't noticed, probably about the last six months to a year, uh, trying to focus more on work things because that's what I'm getting paid to do, uh, trying to work a lot more with universities as well, uh, trying to do a lot more different activities and kind of get out there. Uh, 
But in general, that's kind of been the paralysis. That's just been the over business here. And I think a lot of it recently has gotten better in the sense that I have cut out a lot of just social media, phone time. Um, many of you probably don't realize, but I answer, I don't know, probably I'd estimate between five to 10 emails on LinkedIn every week. And then I have probably about, eh, probably about an email or two through the quant email account that I have. And then I answer a bunch of comments on YouTube as well. So I probably respond to, I don't know, probably close to at least 500 emails, probably three to 500 emails and comments throughout the year on the low end of it. Uh, I try to make videos on contents. I try to respond. Uh, but again, it's trying to pare back a lot of these things where it's like, I would love to be more involved with everybody. But at the same time, uh, it puts me in this state of like, I just can't focus and organize anymore. And this is creating a lot of headaches for me. So anyways, that's kind of what's been going on with a lot of these things. This is why this whole podcast season two has been pushed out. I was going to publish this uh, the first Tuesday of the new year of 2023. And here I sit recording this episode on January 31st. So again, I will try to pair these things back. If you guys have ideas, throw them in the comments below as well. I would love to hear what you guys have on how to simplify things, how to streamline things as well. Um, I have bought new technology for the podcast, so I do far less editing than I've ever had to do before, which has been awesome. Uh, but that is kind of the paralysis state I have been in. We are slowly making progress and coming out of that. Um, but that is where we sit. So anyways, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.